they were trying to be funny again, but again, it's it's humor for I don't know, for I don't I don't know for who. Maybe yes, it six seems, it seems like it's humor for like little kids. Yeah. It's like, it's like it's 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 so it's like the humor that's like back in the like the nineties, I would say, right, <clears throat> right. I I I I feel like that the show the show is meant to be for mature kids that like like maybe kids that are in like 14, 16 year old, but the the writing it's it's so bad it's like it, it feels it feels like min, like whoever whoever did this like mini kaling's like um you know ty, ty, type of uh comedy it's like back in like the 1990s or like the early 2000s that's how i feel yeah someone in chat says all those great animated shows that were canceled and deleted off the faces of the earth yet the shows get greenlit talented animators were wasted on mini kaling's self-insert yeah absolutely yeah yeah like um the thing is that i actually know one of the animators that worked on the show. Like, I actually know one person. Uh, I actually know, I, I know him. I worked with him at uh, at a small studio that I used to work for. But like now he's now he works at Warner Brothers, and it sucks. Is because like, you know these these animators and these artists. You know, like may it be like the, the the art style. Like it, I think the art style is fine. The animation is fine. Yeah, but it just like it sucks that like the show that you work on, it just has it is just terrible. And has a yeah, terrible yeah. For, for for kids yeah. and stuff. I, 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 truth be told, I actually like the animation and the way the art style of this. It's just that it's riddled with really really crap content that it kind of diminishes their work. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that's like, how um, I feel. Like, um, ha have you heard about ha you? Ha uh, do you used to watch uh, Thundercats? I've seen a few of it if I run to it on TV, that, but I don't really watch it as diligently like as Scooby Doo back in the day. Yeah, so 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 OG um Thundercats, right? Like um the ones that was in the, in the eighties. It's just like it's just, I grew up, I grew up watching you know uh, cartoons in the morning, I uh, watching on Cartoon Network. May it be um, you know Tom and Jerry, uh Magilla Gorilla, you know like um Flintstones, Jetsons, uh, Scooby Doo, and um I do watch uh what's it called again uh Thundercats, and 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 it's just Thundercats was one of the shows that I really really enjoyed. Uh, and then I think in 2000, like in the in like 2010 or something like that, they tried to reboot it with a newer animation style. I heard the story sucked, but the animation was really, really good. And I, I just didn't do well. And it's it, it was at the time uh, point in time where anim uh, um, action uh, cartoons were sort of phasing out. And um, it, it's sort of like when you saw like Young Justice came in. You're like, oh, Young Justice is so badass. You know, uh, Ben 10 was getting really, really popular, right? And I was an intern for uh for Ben 10. So but what show that killed the entire like action ca cartoon genre? Do you know which do you know which show that killed the, the genre? No. Adventure Time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Adventure Time was originally on Nickelodeon, and I guess it didn't do well on Nickelodeon. So um they moved it to Cartoon Network, and then Cartoon Network, like it sort of got really, really popular. So ever oh, since okay. Ever since, um, ever since uh, was Adventure Time came out, all the uh, action, action, um, what's it called again? Uh, animated TV shows were all canceled, and then everything is gonna move forward. That's why, like, you saw um, Teen Titans, Teen Titans Go, which I, which I do like. Don't get me wrong. Um, I like, uh, of course, I like um, the original Teen Titans. I, I do like that one. Teen Titans Go is be uh, based off of comedy, and then you got. Um, you know, all of these comedy shows, there's funny comedy stuff that just came out with like, you know, funny dialogues and like good animation and you know, character designs here and there. But um, it's um, and then uh, I believe in 2017, 2016, I forgot when or 2018, um, they're going to reboot. They were rebooting Thundercats and there's a show called Thundercats Roar. And it's it's literally them shitting the first episode shitting on the original Ugh. original uh fans you know thundercats was so fucking awesome and revered as one of those things um it's sort of like um i, I wouldn't say I, I would say it's like 10 years after he-man came out right I, I would say it's about maybe like five to ten years after he-man came out and um and i remember when the first uh that the first trailer came out and was like wait what the fuck happened you know like like why is this look like this is drawn for like little babies it's it it, it, it looks the, like let me actually bring up uh, do you know how thundercats roar looks uh, look like i yeah i don't 
remember because it's it's been a while. Okay, so let yeah. me you let can me you can show the old ones, the old ones, yeah, and the new ones. Me, uh... All right, so. So let me show you a, uh, let me share this. Uh, let me sh go ahead and share this screen really quick. So this one right here is 1985 Thundercats. And this is Thundercats Roar in 2019. And we're oh, like, okay. what happened? Right. And, and, and it's sort of, sort of like, of course you have like the character designs and the animation was done in Japan. That's why it looks really, really sick in the, the OG. When this one came out, I'm like, holy shit, this thing is awful, right? And the thing is that I have a friend who was working on a show uh, called Wacky Races, and it was, um, and they're basically in the same bungalow, like neighboring bungalow as Thundercats Roar. And when he would go to lunch, he would literally say, "I fucking hate Thundercat fans." And then he was like. He's just listening, right? It's like, I fucking hate these people on Twitter complaining, complaining about Thundercats. Just like, grow the fuck up and like, stop complaining and shit like that. They were getting extremely butthurt. And he's like, what the fuck is happening? You know, like, and then of course, like the first episode that comes out, I think it has like one or two episodes. Like, I, I didn't even know when, when this actually went live. So um, when it, uh, one episode came out and like, I guess like he was watching TV. Like like this Lionel, the, the the one on the left was watching TV, and then the Lionel from the right pops out, and they're basically shitting on the like like the the fans of the past. You know, it's 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 the thing is like, oh, it's not for you. This is not for you. This is for new fans. Mm -hmm. This is for new fans. And of course, what happened to the show? It fucking got canceled. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's 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 like why why it's literally dead on arrival. It has so many like like I saw the intro and animation. Animation was good. Animation is really good. It's really fluid, really solid. The art style sucks, right? Yeah. The art style sucks a lot. And like, what what is this? Like, you, like, you have something like this. Yeah. And then you have this. You're like, what what's going? And, and, the, and the crappy and the crappy thing is, um, this is I I I blame this on Adventure Time, and I blame this at, on uh, people who uh who who went to Cal Arts, which is uh Cal Arts. Is a school that it's like um, started by uh, James, no, not James, uh, Steve Jobs, and um, people from Disney. So it's like very, very, like uh, what, very popular. Um, what's it called again? Um, oh God, uh, who, 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 who's the guy that did, uh, did, um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas? I, for, I forgot his name already. Oh, God, no, I would, I would, I wouldn't know either. <laughs> so, uh, God, Tim Burton, Tim Burton. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Tim, Tim Burton came from CalArts. So like a lot of these may like big big animation people came from cal arts and like john lasseter came from came, came from cal arts so and then you have this coming out from cal arts right like if you look at the character designs they're like lazy like lazy 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 uh lazy it's just like who who cares and you like it's just like it, it sucks and then now you go back to scooby-doo all right you, you 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 go back you go back to the scooby-doo stuff and you're just like yeah they they actually don't give a shit. They 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 talk. Sh they're just gonna talk shit about the original fans. They're gonna talk shit about about it because it's not supposed to be for you anymore. It's for a new generation. And the thing is that that's what I hate about um big companies inheriting these um these famous IPs. Maybe it's a uh, Lord of the Rings, Marvel, DC, or whatever it is, or Star Wars. They they have the the great thing about it, and like I mentioned this before. Is you have a built-in audience, right? You have a built-in audience of about uh, five decades, right? Five decades worth of built-in audience that people who love these characters, maybe you know, it's like, oh, 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 yeah, oh yeah, I remember Daphne used to be like this. Oh, I remember Velma and Fred used to be like this. And then when you watch it as an as an as an adult, maybe you're in your sixties, right? Or, or maybe maybe you're like six. You know, you want you're sixty years old. Scooby Doo is fifty four. You're six. You watch it when you're six. You're sixty right now. You watch it's like. The fuck's happening in the cartoon? Mm -hmm. It's like why did why did why are they talking shit about me? You know, and the thing is, that, oh, this is not for you. This is for younger kids, right? But younger kids have no money. Young kids have no money, and the people who do love your love these OG like IPs and stuff like that, maybe it's Transformer or whatever. They're the one who has money right now, 
the kids that are watching it who are in like in in high school, like or high school or maybe even in like middle school, they don't have any money. So why why are you gearing sort of gearing this towards them? It's 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 it, it, it's it's such a shitty thing, right? Yeah, I know the Thundercats reboot you're talking about. It wasn't bad at all. It was actually good, and the show promised a better, uh, a promise of getting better at Cartoon Network. It didn't advertise well, and so it tanked in the ratings. Oh God, the Thundercats War was basically a Teen Titans Go, but somehow worse. It was, uh, it, it just it was just nothing, and it had awful art style. I hate when people reboot a series with dedicated old school franchise who can piss on these fans yet somehow want them to still stay around and support it. We're changing things for the modern audiences. The same modern audiences that never seem to actually support anything unless they can bitch on about Twitter. The Velma show writing feels like a Mindy Killing's personal experiences and personal opinions about people in society in general. So, so I agree with 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 what uh, people are saying in chat. Like, um, yeah, like it's sure. just it's like um, like built in audiences. Sure. Great. You know, but, but why, why would you want to shit on? on us we're the one who have the money the money right now right and 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 that's the reason why i didn't watch the show on hbo max because i don't want to give them a dollar right yeah I don't, exactly but, but, but there are people who do already have hbo max because you know they're watching um you know, you know the last of us next week or something like that and mm -hmm. they're like oh, let's go ahead and just watch it and there are people who hate watch it right so so like we are we're one of those people yeah, who are one of those for for content um, on the channel, yeah. <laughs> but, but with um with running scissors, uh, running with scissors, stuff that uh, Mindy Kaling's personal experience and their personal yeah. opinion. I, I I do agree with that. Agreed. Like agreed, um, for sure. like may, maybe it. I would say Mindy Kaling. I would say is probably one of the first, like um, uh, Indian, uh, Indian actresses that was in Hollywood that was like, was on a really popular show. Right. And then she yeah. sort of be, she also became a writer and a producer on The Office. So oh, um, she, she did? probably, okay. Yeah. So um, I, I, I had like, I, I think The Office came out in like mid 2000s. I didn't actually watch it until like probably yeah. 2010, like five I, years later. I think, I think I should. I, I haven't went through that. I went through Friends, but I, have, mm -hmm. I haven't been to The Office. But I know The Office is really, really good too. Yeah, the, 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 the Office is good. Um, I think once um, Michael Scott left, uh, it was sort of like, like it's sort of the show sort of went downhill a little bit, but um, but overall the show the show's enjoyable, and um, uh, what's it called again? Uh, it's um, but like I yeah I think she was like a co producer and um and it was just it, it's just she, I think she self inserted her characters maybe is like she felt like it was um really hard for her maybe as an Indian person being in Hollywood, so um now that I now that I um you know people know who I am I'm a writer I have I have money. I'm going to make my uh, I'm going to become an executive producer of the show and I'm going to self insert myself as this character that everyone loves and I'm just going to bash everything that I hate right and yeah. it's sort of like yeah it's <clears throat> you're not even doing it in a sort of subtle way too you're just straight out just coming out being just a hate, 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 hateful person it's just yeah. it's, it's nuts. and and the thing is that like I, I I tried watching a show just with Mindy Kaling as a main character. It's called the Mindy Project, where she's like a nurse or a doctor. I couldn't make get past the first episode. It was so awful. So Ugh. once I knew that she was gonna be sort of in charge of the show, I was like, this show is gonna suck. Even before I saw any trailers, is because I'm just like, I don't like any of her her writing, right? Because in the office, I'm pretty sure she she had co-writers, right? Like people who were for writing sure, with her for sure. to, to make it good. But for this show, it's just like, oh, she's executive producer, so she oversees everything. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm the main character. I'm just, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah. So it's, she kind of wrote, the, wrote the reputation of The Office. So her fame kind of rose because of the reception of The Office. But when, it, when she became separated from that, that's when everything came out. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. She, uh, let's see. Uh, she just wrote herself and her life in Scooby Doo. She made the show for her and not for Scooby Doo fans. Absolutely. Uh, never seen The Office. The only things I know from her is an awful TV show. So I don't have, I don't give a fuck about her. I'd be willing to bet this show got greenlit because of Warner Brothers was too, Warner Brothers was too scared to cancel it because Mindy is a person of color, a woman, a person, a woman person of color who, I could see calling WB sexist and racist. Absolutely. Um, she I I believe she's, you know, she she, she already said all these things, right? Like she's she's like, oh, if you, 
you know, like it's it's really hard being an Indian woman in Hollywood and, and, and you know, getting getting parts and movies and stuff like that. And and it's um it's it's this is this is not how you do it, right? If you want if you want things to sort of like oh we, we actually judge you incorrectly and stuff like that, like you, you prove us wrong, but you but you come up with garbage like this, no one's gonna fucking love, and you're just crapping on on this existing you know IPs and stuff like that. It's 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 gonna suck. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.